Hello all you Conan Exile fans out there, it's Granny Gamester back with another beginner's guide to Conan Exiles and I am playing on the PlayStation 4 single player and in today's guide we're going to talk about the Yavosag religion. Yeah, and this is the first altar that you get from that religion uh, right here. Now this religion is not available at the very beginning of the game when you choose your religion. This is one that comes a little later in the game because you do need to be kind of a little higher level to uh, do this dungeon. So uh, yeah, let me show you where you need to go to get this. So we'll pull up our map here. And this is where you wanna go, is right here. So I will meet you there. Okay, so here we are in front of Mr. Yabalsag. He's right behind me. Now we are very close to the den over there. So uh, yeah, he's a friendly sort. You can just walk right up to him, but you are gonna have a scorpion that's gonna come out at you. So you wanna take him out because you are gonna need feral flesh for this. Come here, you. Come here. Double. Now I have tried cutting him up with a cleaver and I don't get the feral flesh from that. So use a pick. And once we have that, we're going to go over and chat with Mr. Yalosag. Yeah. He looks a little scary, but he's a friendly sort. So you just want to walk up to him come, and have a little chat and he's going to start me. chatting at you. You have nothing to fear of me, human. I am simply lonely as I await my return to the Misty Lands. I would like to talk. And then he's going to say, I would like to talk. Now, you can do that if you want. Or you can go straight to the purpose here, which is purchase a potion of midnight for five feral flesh. Now, you do want to do that, but I must warn you that the minute you do, you want to immediately go to your inventory because that is where it's going to be. And I will go ahead and press that. Now it says purchase made. I'm going to go right to my inventory. And here is this little purple bo uh, bottle. But as you can see, it's going to expire in 20 seconds. Yeah, so I need to take it right away. But I am not going to do this because I do not want to spoil this for you. This is such a blast to go to first time oh, around. Well, yeah, here. it's a lot of fun. I'm I will give I you some tips like I did um, when we did the Shade Bloom. Uh, I would definitely uh, be at a level where I can handle three skull bosses. You can handle wolves, um, you know, boars, those kinds of things. You want to have plenty of potions on yourself, plenty of water and food. You want to take your best thrall with you. And ah, you go in there and have a good time. Yeah, if you die in there, this dungeon does give you an option to respawn in the dungeon. And when you choose that, everything that you have killed in the dungeon remains dead and you can run right back to the spot where you died and pick up your thrall and continue on. Yeah. So, uh, yeah, have fun with it. Um, as long as you take enough potions, that was my thing because <laughs> you do die sometimes. And, uh, yeah, so it's a lot of fun. Now, at the very end of this, there is a boss that once you kill him, you want to harvest him. And when you do, he's going to give you some meat called Flesh of Remembrance. And you do want to eat that. Yes, it does uh, have um, a life to it. I think it lasts for uh, like maybe an hour, over an hour. So you do have time to, to eat it, but why not do it right then and there? And once you do that, you have learned uh, the religion of Yabalsag. Yeah, then uh, if you go to your feats and scroll over to religion, it will be here. Yep. So now that you have it, let's go back and see what this religion offers. So I will meet you back at base. Okay, so here we are back at base in front of our altar here. Now this is the first altar that you will make. And if we open this up, you can see that it has some burn offerings here. Now, I thought that these were only Isle of Sipta, but I was told that these, you can get these. Uh, tier four priests, if you kill them, have a chance to drop all of these items that you need. So if you kill a tier four or a named priest, 
uh, for the Mitra religion, uh, they will uh, drop or have a chance to drop this uh, precepts of Mitra that you need and the same with the rest of these. I have not done that, um, but you know, that's how you get those if you want. Um, there is the blood letter, which of course is the tool that you use to get uh, harvest the sacred blood from uh, humanoids. And then you have the upgrade uh, to the retreat. And then you have a hunter's potion. Now this potion will increase your uh, accuracy temporarily. So that's awesome. And then there's night eye potion. This potion will give you the ability to see in the dark. Yeah, that might be a handy one. And then we have lures. Now these are the ones that really caught my eye. It's like, man, these could be really fun. And I did try one out and they are. So we're going to try one of these out a little later, but we're going to go right now to feats and we're going to look at the rest of what this has to offer. So the second uh, altar that you get is the retreat of Yabo Sog and that you can get the headdress of Yabo Sog. Um, you can get reptile lore, spider lore, scorpion lore, and rock nose lore. Yeah. And then you can purify blood with this. Now, the uh, third altar that you can get, which is the uh, grove of Yabal Sog, that gives you the feast of Yabal Sog. Now, this uh, food has a little perk to it. Yeah, it, it does cure your hunger, hunger for 70%, uh, thirst for 40%. Regen for seven, 17 hit points per three, every three seconds. It lasts for two hours and it weighs only a tenth of a pound, but it also gives you underwater breathing. Yeah, and I did test this one out and this, uh, yeah, it lasts for a minute at least. So it's, it's pretty cool. Yeah, nice little feature. Then you get the sign of Yabal Sag. Now this is, uh, I don't believe it does anything. I couldn't find anything that it would do. It's it's decorative and it's really pretty large and uh, it looks very nice. Yeah, yeah. And then we have the feline lure, the sand reaper lure, and the demonic lure. Yeah, um, those could all be a lot of fun. Then the last one uh, at the altar, the third altar, you can also get uh, the blessed blood letter and um, that does the same thing it gets you the uh, sacred uh, blood and then we have the claws of Yabal Sag yeah the claws that unleash the rage of the beast yeah now it has a health damage of 40 so we're we've actually had one of those we're going to try that out so you can get a chance to see what that looks like I think I might have it on I do so let's put these little babies on. Now look at that. Yeah. So we're going to do our R1 first, our basic hit. Then we're going to try our heavy hit. So we're going to do two of those. Yeah. So you could get a combo going here that would be pretty darn cool. Yeah. Now, obviously, I, I cannot hold a shield with this, um, but these uh, look pretty, pretty brutal. Yeah, they might be a lot of fun. Um, it doesn't say they cause bleed. I did not look that up for sure, but uh, they have an armor pen of 9%. They look like they would cause it, but uh, I, I'm assuming it's a dagger. So if that's the case, then it does cause bleed. <gasps> But that's a test I didn't do. Unless we could possibly do it on this little guy. Oh, it just took... <laughs> there wasn't a chance to test him. It just took him out. <laughs> All right. Well, there we go. Those could be fun, guys. They could be fun. So what I want to do now, though, is I'm going to take these off. And we want to put in our... A feline lure. Now, it looks to me like you have to be wherever uh, these creatures are. It does not bring them to you unless you are close to them as it is. So if you're in an area that has 
uh, tigers and things like that, then uh, they're going to uh, be lured by this. But if you are not, um, they don't they don't show up. Yeah, they just don't materialize. Oh, you might know. <laughs> this, this guy is relentless. Oh, I've got two of them going. <laughs> Get out of here. You're bothering me. All right, so I do have a, uh, I think it's a leopard over here. So we're going to stay quite a ways away from him. And you're going to see that it's only going to attract him. As far as I know now, I didn't try it with just one. So he has, he has not aggroed to us. He's going to if I get too close here. So let's just stay over here. And let's get out our feline lore. Now you can see. Not enough contact with the ground. Come on now, let me place that. <laughs> uh, come on, come on, let me place it. Uh, right here maybe? Invalid building location. Hmm. Uh, all right. And invalid. Oh, oh, there we go. All right. So we're going to place it right there. I'm going to get ready here. Oh, see, kitty found it. Brings him right to it right to it but he is the only one because he is already in the area so it does not manufacture any which i was kind of hoping it did <laughs> that would be kind of fun and it does expire it doesn't last very long really so there's that one and then we have this is where it could get really fun now i did not bring delincia with me so that could be a mistake. <laughs> but we have a bunch of sand reapers up here. And they were right down over that bank there. So we're going to see. Make sure I get the right one. Is it? Yes, it is. Okay. So we're going to plant that right there and see if that brings them. They're just over the bank there. I might not be close enough. I don't know. Oh, no, there they are. <laughs> there they are. Now, I know there's also a queen down there, but it doesn't seem to have attracted her. So we could place... Oh, they've seen me. Uh-oh. All right. Time to leave. <laughs> Experiment over. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, we're just going to climb right up here and be done with it. Yeah. So, uh, yeah, that, see, there's a couple more over there. So if I had gone somewhere in between them there, uh, we could have lured more. But that that could be a lot of fun, guys, if you're in an area with a lot of these. Yeah. Yeah. So, um, yeah, good reason to get the re religion along with um, the water breathing and, you know, the, uh, the uh, potion. The night eye potion etc so well, all right guys if you found this helpful give me the big old like and if you'd like to see more just subscribe and if you hit that little bell you'll be notified when i post my next guide now i am going to leave a link at the end of this to uh, my beginner's guide playlist and i'm also going to leave a link to my live streams yes i do live streams every monday at 11 a.m mountain time and then again on Monday at 5 p.m. Mountain Time. And I do do a role play on Savage Wilds, which is a uh, mod for Conan Exiles. It's a lot of fun. And uh, yeah, you might have fun. Come join us in chat. All right, guys. Again, thank you so much. And until next time, GG out.